Hi, this is Marv with Top Speed RC, and with me I have Jake and Paul. And this is going to be our review of Proline Badlands. So I went and picked these up today at my local hobby store. I had been in desperate need of some new tires for this very, truck. Very, very desperate. You can look at a couple of our other videos and you can see the same thing with, uh, I think it had two worn out gladiators on the back and <laughs> Proline Ions, which are like an indoor track tire on the front. <laughs> that he had the brilliant idea of driving on pavement. Which, which, as a side note, if you ever buy track tires, don't, don't drive them on pavement. Don't. They, they look like cool tires for pavement. They, they aren't. <laughs> Believe me. I wasted $35 on pavement. So, these tires are... I went out and ran a couple cell, uh, a couple packs through them today, and you know, we put them through the test. You can see this truck was spotless when we went out there to start with. I had just cleaned it head to toe, and uh, it was submerged in a river submerged in puddles it was ran through sand hard packed dirt pavement everything and i can say these these tires they're the bomb man yeah we've all run them we all have these tires on our each of our individual slashes i've had mine for since the spring and they're great tires on this all, is my second set they're great tires for this truck. they're great tires on all pavement are all kinds of surfaces. They hook up, they pavement. wear out on pavement, but they hook up, man. And I've, I haven't run them a ton on pavement, but they haven't worn too much, but don't buy these as a primary pavement, unless a pavement runner, unless you want to keep buying tires every like month or so. I mean, they're going to hook up incredibly well on pavement. You're going to be doing wheelies, catwalks. You can see the back of my body posts are worn flat from the running wheelies without a body on because this thing will do, this thing will do standing back flips without a, uh, on 3S without a, the body on it because of how much just traction these things get. Mm -hmm. uh, you burn out slippers. Well, you don't really burn out slippers if, you don't, if you're like me and you don't use one really. But <laughs> Look, these things will spray some incredible ta rooster tails on the dirt. Mm, they've got like a motocross almost style design you can see. Um, they're a, a, like knobby. They're like not really like a regular truck tire. So, But uh, they hook up on just about everything. And I, The only thing they just... The only thing you're going to get the hook up on sand really is going to be like a slingshot or a sand paw or something like that. But, but with the slash, as long as you keep your speed up with these, you're fine. From experience, the only um, terrain that they aren't all that great at is indoor clay tracks. They do tend... They, they do okay, but you tend to slide around quite a bit. But they're not a clay track tire, no. so no one ever expected them to do good on that. So Yeah, this is a great bashing tire. Um, many of you might be trying to decide between a trench or, or a Badland. Really, you can't go wrong with a, either one. They're both great tires. I feel I've, the Badlands wear a little better, though. Yeah, I, I would agree. I've had the trenchers as well, and they wore out pretty quick, but I also was running them a, on pavement a lot. With my Badlands, I've tried to keep them pretty much off-road most of the time. I've started to run them on pavement a little bit, but not too much. But they're both great tires. I can't really say... It's been a long time since I've tr had trenchers, so I can't really say I feel like one's better than the other necessarily on pavement. But, I they, mean... They just look sharp. Or, sorry, on not truck, pavement, though. on any surface. So, I don't know. It, they're both great tires. Um, I personally think the Badlands look cooler, so that's a win Yeah, they do for look them. cool on the truck. Like if, you throw a, um, if you throw a body on there, though, that thing just looks mean and menacing with those tires on there. So, But they, they hook up and turn, and they go straight, too. They're, they're, I would, they're, they're the hands-down best upgrade you can do to a, one of these trucks, pretty much. Because with my other tires... This truck was not the same truck. I threw these on, and it was like it was like a whole new truck. The, those guys will say I would not shut up when we were running about how great they were. No, he, no, wouldn't. he wouldn't. He wouldn't. <laughs> but and it's understandable because I did the same thing when I got these. These things are awesome. Like it was going through tall grass that I would never have dreamed it to go through with the other tires I was having it on. It almost. I'm if you gonna... if you need one upgrade and you have like 60, 70 bucks. Buy new tires, especially if you're going off for buy new tires. Either buy Badlands or buy Trenchers. I would probably, like I said, I've had them both. I'd probably go Badlands just because they look cooler. 
But, like I said, you can't go wrong with either one. They're both great tires. Thanks for watching. This has been Top Speed RC. Uh, and we want to give a quick shout out to, to our, our producer, team. Jordan, off yeah, screen. We just hired him, so that'll be pretty great. So, but uh, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. See you later.